CEO Ronald Hickler from Create the Difference. I want to talk to you about a topic that doesn't get looked at very often, and that's bowling balls and the progression of bowling balls. So what I want to do specifically is talk uh, about some bowling balls that have a very interesting progression and something that you should consider when you're going to purchase a bowling ball. So we're going to we're going to use this uh, Evan as an example here. Um, so as an example here, their current uh, mid price balls that they offer, the GB3 and the GB3 Pearl. When you look at the current offerings of all of their mid price balls, you've got four offerings. And what's most notable here is the GB2 or the Game Breaker 2 bowling ball. Now, what's interesting about this bowling ball is this bowling ball is special because it's been around for so long. This ball is at least four years old. And you and I both know bowling balls don't tend to last very long uh, in the industry. So, why is this bowling ball still here is the question that we really want to answer today. And this is also going to help you when you start to make decisions when it comes to your bowling balls. So let's go over here first and switch gears and look at some of the retired options. So what's interesting here is when you look at the retired balls, there's four options that were also made that have that Game Breaker 2 logo or Game Breaker 2 concept behind them. But all four of those balls are retired, whereas the one original game record to here is still in the line. Now, what that means is a couple of things. One, that means that the Game Breaker 2 ball in and of itself was a very, very good ball, right? It's still in the line four years later. That doesn't happen very often. It also means that when manufacturers make bowling balls, a lot of times when they make bowling balls off of bowling balls, they may or may not be as good as the original. Now, I happen to just have a little bit of experience with these bowling balls, so we can go a little bit deeper than that and explain kind of the why. So one of the key concepts with the Game Breaker 2 bowling ball was this bowling ball was a direct copy off of a prior bowling ball called Game Breaker. This bowling ball actually had the same cover and the same core and was the same finish. So it really was a dead copy. So that's why this ball, which... Game Breaker 1, the original Game Breaker, was a phenomenal ball and had a long-lasting uh, staying power to it as well. That's why Game Breaker 2 can still remain in the line. But what's interesting is as soon as you get away from that exact same core and cover and finish and all the things that go into making this one great, and you try to recreate that another way, you end up with bowling balls that just aren't as good. The MVP2, which happens to be a solid ball or a hybrid ball. Let's see here. Let's, let's double check. We don't have to think about it. We can actually, it's a hybrid ball. It actually is a hybrid ball. So we know the Game Breaker was a solid. So let's go look at the Phenom uh, 2 here. So this ball here uh, looks like it happens to be a solid, right? It's a solid ball. Um, and these all have the same core, um, but they're tweaks, right? They're always tweaks. And then both of these balls obviously here are pearls. Um, so they're tweaks though. And what happens is, is the tweaks don't necessarily have the exact same performance or the exact same characteristics that really make this bowling ball really, really good. So because of that, ultimately, uh, you have a different piece, a different product, and it isn't the same. Now the Game Breaker three, uh, is kind of in that same concept, right? Because they say that they beefed up the cover stock. So they've changed the cover stock. The color looks a little bit similar, um, but they're definitely making some changes here. Um, to this ball. And because of that, it's also not going to end up being the same as this ball. So one of the things that you guys should really consider when you're looking at buying bowling balls is that if there's a bowling ball that's been around for a very, very long time, like this bowling ball in particular, it's important to realize that just because they launch new ones or more doesn't mean it will be as good or better than the original. And a lot of times that isn't the case. A lot of times uh, when they get a bowling ball that's really, really hot um, and it's popular, they just leave it in the line. And it doesn't just happen to this company. It happens to all the companies. But this is kind of a, an example of why you should be uh, cognizant of that when you're purchasing bowling balls. If you want and or you like the reaction you had from a Game Breaker 2, don't try to go buy the new versions of it thinking that that's going to give you the solution here. If that's really what you like and it's still available, just go back and get the one that was good to start with. That way you're going to be able to get the reaction, the consistency uh, that you were looking for, and it's going to give you uh, confidence when making that purchase. If you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating a Difference. Have a great day.